do you know that if honey is being stored properly in a sealed container and it is being saved from humidity then honey has no expiry date so it's the only product food product which has no expiry date good morning everyone welcome to the may 25 morning tales and let's begin with our current affairs the important current affairs for the day the first one being tapi pipeline is the project for constructing a joint pipeline across so first of all the tapi stands for the four countries these countries are turkmenistan afghanistan pakistan and india so these are the four countries where this gas pipeline would be established and it is also known as trans afghanistan pipeline so it's important from the exam point of view because the meeting for the tapi gas pipeline is scheduled to be held in turkmenistan so the meeting 2000 meeting for the tapi pipeline would be held in turkmenistan therefore it is in news again and what does tapi stands for so it's turkmen turkmenistan afghanistan pakistan and india now what is this pipeline so this pipeline is basically a project which is expected to be completed by 2022 you can see this pipeline which would be laid and it would cross these four countries and it would be completed by 2022 in pakistan so basically it's a uh, proposed 56 inch diameter and 1680 km of pipe so this pipeline would help in supplying the or expected to supply the 33 billion cubic meters of natural gas so this is the purpose of the tapi pipeline and it is also known as trans afghan pipeline the next question is which indian city is celebrating the first of its kind jagri festival so jagri is also known as gur famously known as gur and jagri this jagri mahotsav or gur mahotsav is the first of its kind initiative being taken in india and it's also known as or it's known for its sweet initiative as well we can say that the indian city is celebrating this jagri festival jagri is very useful for the health benefits as well so it would be observed in muzaffarnagar for the first time at the end of this month so probably by may 30th they'll start this 3 day festival and this project or this scheme or this first of its kind initiative has been launched under the one district one product scheme so it's important that it has been launched under this one district one product in partnership with the private players so if we come to the factual information so muzaffarnagar is basically the biggest marketplace for gur in asia therefore it becomes obvious for muzaffarnagar to celebrate this first of its kind jagri festival so recently ola has suspended its business with which of the following so after 18 months of acquiring food panda ola has decided to uh, divest or we could say that go away with the food panda business so food panda is the online food ordering application and ola is the online cab application so basically they the ola is has now done away with the food panda and they because the food panda has been struggling over this period of time to grow and compete with the other competitors basically swiggy zomato uber eats these are the other competitors of uh, food panda and ola has just divested uh, the, its business of food panda do you know who is the founder of food panda so tell me in the comment section below the founder of food panda that in the year 2012 it was founded by whom so me tell me in the comment section below who is the founder of food panda moving on to the next question so recently which country has been declared or which countries have been declared as the malaria free country by who that is world health organization so world health organization has announced do you think india is the part of it no so who has announced algeria and argentina as the latest countries to be recognized as the malaria free countries after including argentina and algeria there are 38 countries which have now been declared as malaria free countries now while all these nations are moving away from malaria india is actually still counting and fighting with the malaria with around 9.5 5 million cases of malaria in 2017 it's a very very big figure 9.5 million cases is a very huge number where there are already 38 countries in the world which have been declared malaria free 
So what becomes important that these two countries are malaria free countries and India still accounts for 9.5 million cases approximately 9.5 million cases that was recorded in 2017 and that too according to WHO report. That OECD, which is the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, they have now predicted the GDP growth rate for the financial year 20. Now they are they have projected that India is projected to grow at 7.5 percent, and the GDP uh, growth is projected to strengthen approximately to 7.25 percent in 2019. So 7.25 for this year and 7.5 for 20. 20. So it's very important to remember the different forecasts being predicted. We'll soon come up with the video where we'll be telling you about the different forecasts, the GDP projection which are being done by the different organizations. The next question is a very interesting question. So who has become the first Indian women to qualify for combating missions on a fighter jet? So this is for the first time and history has been created when the flight lieutenant Bhavna Kant she has been uh, she has become the first indian woman to be recognized as a pilot for the indian air force to qualify for the combat missions at or as of this date so bhavna kant is the person who has been uh, qualified for the combat for combat missions also she is from the first batch of women fighter pilots and the second women pilot to conduct such a solo fight now the question for you, where is Bansaga Dam located? You need to answer that in the comment section below. Where is this dam located? And another question, our author, who is the author of the book Agni Ki Uran or Wings of Fire? This is a very easy question. I have not even given options over here. You need to tell me in the comment section that who is the author of this book Wings of Fire? So do mention your answers in the comment section below and keep watching these videos. Also, if you're preferring for NABA, do watch the ASI, ESI and NABA ARD videos, the five day question series so that you can learn the concepts easily. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel Anuj Jindal and if you have any feedback or any query, you can mention them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching the video.